now why Scala and all? Now, other thing which is important is Scala has REPL, R E P L. Okay, so what is that full form? Uh, read, evaluate, loop, print, REPL. Right? Read, evaluate, print, loop, REPL. Okay, so typically REPL is provided in, or what, what is a REPL? By the way, it's kind of a shell. It's kind of a, uh, you know, uh, like when you type peg, enter, it, it opens up a shell, wherein you do, you can do some interactive analysis, right? So typically with Ruby, typically with Python, typically with any of the SQL languages, those REPLs are provided. And these are the environments wherein you can just type some of your programs, test it, and if they work fine, then it is a proof of the concept that yes, whatever you have typed, whatever you have done is good. Same is provided here as well. But this gives, typically REPLs come with the languages which are interpreted, right? They typically come with the languages which are, which are interpreted. Guys, I hope you are understanding that point, right? And the difference between an interpreted language and a compiled language. I don't need to tell you about that, right? So now, Scala gives you an illusion of an interpreted language, okay? This is the difference. Scala gives you an, in, uh, illusion, an illusion of an interpreted language. It is actually a compiled one, wherein each and everything, whatever you type, is actually compiled to the byte code, okay? And it runs within the JVM, okay? So that's, that's, a, that's a big difference between kind of, you know, Scala and other programming languages which are actually the interpreted languages. Whereas Scala is the compiled language, it's a compiled language and the moment you write something in your you know, Scala uh, console, it actually gets compiled and then it is executed. But it happens so fast that you don't really realize it. Okay, so this is another kind of you know difference. And since it's a compiled language, of course it is kind of so um, you know, in the performance stack also, it is much better than the, uh, uh, it is much better placed than uh, its uh, distant cousins like, you know, Ruby, Python and all, okay. Uh, static language, so type information is exploited by the optimizers to make the decisions, no need to tell about it. It's a preferred choice for very high performance systems, of course it is. And the good thing is with the ID, guys, so I have a kind of, you know, you know, the PS kind of notes, right? So I, I, would, I would like to share my experiences with you. So I am using Eclipse Scala ID. Basically Scala ID is, IDE is nothing but Eclipse with, uh, with basically Scala, Scala plugin and nothing else. Okay, it has got some bugs. So that's the plain talk, which I would like to say. IntelliJ IDEA is somewhat better, but not that much, okay? So for, for me, I have actually become agnostic of them, okay? So just, just telling you all, all about it. I'm, I'm having both. I'm having IntelliJ IDEA, I'm having uh, Eclipse, and I don't work on any of them. I typically write very small codes on, uh, you know, on my notepad itself. That's it, okay? So I'll, 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 I'll share all those details with you guys. Don't worry. Scala? Uh, so with ID, guys, uh, there are Scala ID is available. Then there is this uh, thing available uh, uh, called uh, you know IntelliJ IDEA, and I think there are others also. Guys, the problems are yes, they provide auto completion, very good. But I am sharing my personal experience. The moment you go for some sort of refactoring, right? And let's say you have refactored a class or you have refactored some sort of object or some variable and all. And if it is successful, very good. But for some reason, if it gives you some error, right? If your project becomes red, then even if you remove the red, I mean the root cause of red, sometimes I have seen the project remains in the red itself. I have spent hours and hours in order to solve it. Then I found what, I mean, out of my frustration sometimes, what I did is, I created another project and copy pasted the very same code in that and it started working. 
and I didn't do anything other than that. I can tell you about it. Okay, that was my experience. That was my experience. Okay, so Martin also has an online Scala class and uses Eclipse plus Scala ID and SBT. Right. So this is right, Harsh and others. Yes, we use this Scala ID, but this is my experience. Okay, this is this is the experience with uh, Scala ID as of now, and this is about the latest release. Anyway. But it helps. Now, this is called, you know, that final knock. Can you read this statement? If I were to pick a language to use today other than Java, it would be Scala. Good? See who is talking about it. Right? Stephen, you were asking a good question. When was this comment made? Some time back. Probably I don't have the date. That's a problem with those comments. Okay. I think so. I think so. Yes, before Java 8. But, right, I mean, you can see about the acceptance of it, right? The father of the you know, Java programming language itself, if, if he is making this comment, then definitely there is a substance. <laughs> 